Let's react to the next artist. My name is Diego, for you who are new here. I'm a music producer, mixing engineer, drummer, film composer, and something else. I, I'm forgetting. Yes. Um, everything about me you can find on the description. So now let's move forward. The next song we're gonna react to. It's gonna check, let's check out. My friend Veli sent me a song yesterday and asked me, have you seen this? And I reply, no. The artist is called Ren. And the song is called Hi Ren. This lasts nine minutes, 19. Let's see, is it a song or is it a short film? Who knows, let's check it out. Nice lamps. Hi, Ren. So I'm gonna interrupt here. Nice playing. I see this is a live performance kind of thing because he has a microphone there. And the guitar is connected through a microphone. And that's a sound I don't like at all. I don't like the sound of electroacoustic guitars. I prefer to put a microphone on top on front of it and, and have a that kind of sound. I hate the sound of guitars plugged in. These acoustic guitars, right? So <laughs> I was not expecting that kind of uh, wow conversation. Um, that looks like a dialogue, right? First person now. It started very good and normal. I mean, besides the setup and the wheelchair and this guy with the pig mask, and it's it's very interesting. Let's go. How it continues. You need me, you're the sheep, I'm the shepherd, not your place to lead me, not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately, and I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill, Bren. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is so good. And this can go very deep into psychology and wow. And I think by the accent he's somewhere in the British Islands. Yes. Well, from there. You sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this tense that program rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Because when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you. Wow. Holy shit. This is... 
in one hand entertaining, it's very good. But now we're getting into it and it's about being in a psychiatric condition in in treatment and taking pills trying to make progress in your life fighting against the dark side of yourself wow it's it's touching it's touching me actually you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where well, are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected and the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough because this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Fuck yeah man Yeah Of course Fuck yeah I agree with everything he just said This is Art Doesn't matter if it makes money Doesn't matter if it goes to Oprah or something Just I think art is a Call to other people who think somewhere in the same frequencies that you think. I think making music, making art, any kind of art, it's about making friends around the world. Everybody who can listen to your stuff and likes it, it's a future friend. So it's about being part of society on the best way you can do and, and we creatives the best thing we can do is make stuff make art and this is very honest i i wow wow man you sound so pretentious ran your music is so self-centered no one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself trust me you should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you remind you to manage expectations provide you perspective that thing you neglected i get it you want to be a big deal next jimmy hendrix forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success Is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore Fuck you I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Sorry Gollum and Smeagol also did it. <laughs> no, um, it doesn't matter. I mean, every, every music you do is based on every music... Let's go again. Every song you create, anybody creates, is based on the music that is was done before you. So nobody will come with something 100% new. Ever. Everything is based on the building blocks that is our general culture or whatever the folk culture you're into. So to criticize someone by doing something that was kind of made before in another shape, it's stupid. It's stupid. Even take a look to cover, cover songs. There are a million of cover songs, but... Sometimes there's someone making it on a special way that you never heard before. Let's take Johnny Cash Hurt. I first met the Johnny Cash version and I was, wow, moving. And then I realized it was a cover and then I heard the other song and it was not my thing. So it's not about being 100% original. It's about putting your soul naked in front of everyone and this is what what's happening here because i'm fine by myself i'm a genius and i will be great and i will make waves and i'll shake up the whole world beneath us that's right speak your truth your fucking god complex leaks out of you it's refreshing to ask for you say it instead of downplay it 
uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus fuck you I'ma fucking kill you Ren I'ma fucking kill me then let's fucking have you Ren I'ma do it watch me prove it who are you to doubt my music cause I call the shots I choose if you die yeah I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> news flash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of hell. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hello, Satan. What the f***? This is very, 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 very good. I love this. And that's true. I think the point is we all have this fight in general in our head. Some people have it stronger, more black and white, and sometimes it's more like scales of grey. It's the human condition, this good and bad thing. It's it's just not a commercial creation that there's bad and good. There's everything is inside of ourselves. Some people explain it. There's a devil and they're possessed, and but it's just your mind. It's your mind. That's the only way to explain it. some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawned just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet and you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shade so cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different sides I'm this about to cry What the f- Wow, this reminded me a little bit also to one scene of Lord of the Ring, Lord of the Rings, when Sam tells Frodo like, "Come on, motherfucker! There's good things in this planet, and there's hope and this and that." Yeah, remind me to that scene. Wow, I'm being taken on a trip, and this such a good one.
When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax and I learned to soften and that dance got easy. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. Um. Oh. That's a lot to. Th wow. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Wow. 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 Oh. This is so interesting. I'm so euphoric. Or discovering this. Thank you, Veli, for sending me this. This is so what? I think my life is better now after watching this. There's so much to learn, and the the the, the, the tragic tragedy lived through his life is now turned into reaching out to others that might be in the same situation, or to clarify what is that to everybody who feels that so i got mail bye sorry i was getting a package on the post what what so dear friends that was ren forming hyren a very in-depth look into one's mind through through the soul of someone who has been in difficulties and figured some stuff out and is spreading it out in the form of songs. I am very thankful for this. So this is a, I'm gonna keep an eye on this artist. So enjoy this. I hope you also learned something and wow. See you later. Hasta que mal